pull off one of the biggest upsets, and that would have to be, boss, considering what Amelian Gunnick has done since the loss to TK, one of the biggest upsets in MMA history. We're about to find out what happens here as the bell rings. Round one is underway. Again, Bushido rules, one ten minute round, one five minute round. Yep, and Emilianenko, he has got his hands up this time, unlike with his fight against Nogueira when he was shooting from his hips. Kosaka uh -oh. goes for the shot, but Emilianenko immediately reverses the tables, and now in the guard boss, it's just raining down those blows, lefts and rights, in typical Emilianenko fashion. I said it, you do not want to have him in your guard. He's throwing sledgehammers, and there you see already some blood. And there's a cut above the eye. Hey, how there's is a that? Stop by Emilianenko. He's got already a cut. The tables are turned. Is yes, Fedor but... going to win the fight now because of a cut that DK has? But this would be a legal cut, boss, because it was incurred with legal strikes here in Pride Fighting Championships. And you're right, talk about irony. That was the word I was looking for. Irony. Now, here we go. It was probably that knee, maybe. Lo yep, he's already bleeding. He's already bleeding there, boss. Yep. Accidental knee. There you go. And the other one's an accidental elbow, huh? Yeah, but the knee strikes are illegal here in Pride. And yeah, the, the yeah, The elbow yeah. wasn't, so it's not really an accidental knee. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I meant it. It's I know what like, you're saying. Yeah, he, he fell against it. It was not like he threw yeah, that knee that's on purpose. Right. Kosaka has Hirotaka Yokoi, Hidehiko Yoshida in his corner, but right now the doctors here looking over the cut over his left eye as Emelianenko, Pride World Heavyweight Champion in the neutral corner, maybe thinking to himself, wow, I didn't expect something like this so soon, but like you said, boss, yep. irony written all over it. And you know what? What did he say to us in the interview? I hope nothing happens like last time. I hope. They were not, right. Don't right. have to stop the fight because of a cut of an injury. Right. And right away this happens. But let's be positive here. Yes. My glass is always half full, so let's see. We just saw Hidehiki Yoshida, who's scheduled to take on Vanderlei Silva in the main event of the first round of the middleweight tourney beginning April 23rd from the Osaka Dome on pay-per-view. But right now, what had been a great Bushido 6 event, boss, we were met with the news that Paolo Filio broke his right ankle, was unable to participate in the final against Dean Lister. And now, unfortunately, here early in the first round, TK Kosaka has incurred a, a cut over his left eye, and we wait the outcome of this situation. But this is what it's all about, mixed martial arts, boss. Anything can and will happen, and uh, these fighters train but you can't uh, train to protect yourself from a cut, boss, because it no. can happen at any time. You know what, the thing is also, the cut, it, even if it doesn't need stitches, but it's like in a, in a very bad place, yeah, the blood's got to go into That's his right. eye, and then the doctor will say, no, no, you're not going to fight yeah. either, you know? But the fans here start to applaud. They are doing some eye tests right now with Kosaki. You saw the doctor hold up two fingers there, trying to see if the vision is blurred. I know that TK will definitely not quit. No. Especially with so much at stake, a lot of people looking forward to this rematch. But yeah, boss, look where that cut is. It's on a bad spot. I think they should continue and just see what's going to happen within two minutes. And it gets open again, then make the decision. And I think well, that they're going to do that. Safety of the fighter is paramount, but uh, you're right, boss. I mean, this is the main event, Bushido 6. This is what the fans came to see. And it would be unfortunate, to say the least, if Kosaka would be... Unable to yep. continue. No, he will because I saw his corner already going to the blue corner, and that the blue corner is Kosaka's corner. Gee, and I wonder what Emelianenko is going to aim for as we begin action once again. There's a knee delivered by Kosaka, just charging Emelianenko. He sweeps him aside, boss. And he's on the butt scoop position, Emelianenko. Receives an up kick, but right through the open guard, boss. Yeah, and this is his bread and butter because now he's going to start raining. Hey, leg lock. Oh. Oh. Attempts a leg lock and continues to see go how, against. See how he pushed him down. He's yeah. just pushing him down. Nice sprawl. He has so much power. Now oh. it's a side mount right away. Beautiful job by Emilianenko. And there's a right bomb delivered to the face of Kosaka. As you said, boss, it's like a sledgehammer, a jackhammer. 
Yeah, Kosaka needs to, champion. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but Kosaka needs to use that left leg that he has there on his hip to push him away. You do not want to stay in this position, trust me. You want to, uh, because he's aiming, you see? He's aiming for the cut. Well, of course, he's, and that's what I, you know, when the action fist. resumed, I, I said kind of uh, facetiously, what, what is he going to go for, boss? I yeah. mean, come on, that's exactly the target area, and it's... Uh, yeah, uh, not good. The blood coming out of the eye of TK Kosaka. And now Emelianenko just neutralizing him there. And you know that Fyodor Emelianenko, a classy world heavyweight champion, he'll want to punish him, no doubt about that. But uh, yep. it'll be interesting to see what happens here. And you know that, I guess, the timeout is coming as uh, head referee Yuji Shimada has called for another timeout. They're going to look over the uh, fight. And the doctors again in the corner of TK Kosaka and Boss. I hate to say it. I hate to rain out on the parade, but uh, I don't know how long this fight is going to continue. Yep. Uh, same thing here. And you see again, it's all about the safety. The doctors again are checking it. It's probably the same cut. And, and interesting what was going off off the uh, screen there, boss. We had um, Fyodor Emelianenko's brother, Alexander Emelianenko, wanting to give him some ice. But, of course, when you're in a neutral corner, you cannot be attended to by your corner. So, uh, as we see the replay here now, as uh, the action resumed and boss it's just uh, an unfortunate event here for TK Kosaka yep he was aiming there he was so right he should have used that left leg push him away from you and really uh, Milianenko not deviating from his game plan whatsoever I mean this is a movie we have seen many times involving the pride world heavyweight champ yep wow. we're going to let it continue again wow all right Let's see how much longer this goes as Emelianenko will now start top position here. Well, actually, he'll be in the Different. half guard. Yep, not in that butterfly bodyguard, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an onslaught now. Of course, Kosaka definitely has to do what he can to try to protect his eye, try to protect himself from, as you mentioned, boss, the onslaught of the Pride World Heavyweight Champion, Kosaka. Looking for the leg lock again and giving marks for that. A nice sprawl by a million ankle, but Kosaka definitely trying his hardest here. You know what the thing is? If Fedor gets too aggressive, he smells the victory and he's going to concentrate only on that eye, that could be a problem. He can't be caught in an armbar or something. Great point, boss. Now, it's Fedor we're talking about, so probably he's not, you know? He will but be the focus, but... Like you say, he's still human, after all. Yes. And if you, like you smell the blood, like you say, and you focus, it just takes that one moment as you see Kosaka trying to work from the bottom, but you're right. I mean, Fyodor Emelianenko, you, one would not expect him to make such a mistake, but uh, anything can happen. And uh, Emelianenko continues to control, even though he's in the closed guard of Kosaka. Bobbing and weaving from the ground. So even when the jackhammers come down, he let him miss. Real good, real smart, especially when you have a little cut. Round of pound continues from the guard. Now Kosaka trying to keep him tight, doing the right thing here, boss. Just, just trying to hold the million echo against yeah. him, not even wanting to create that distance. Yeah. But he also also reverses somehow. Look for the sweep and somehow, which is, you know, again, uh, easier said than done against a Pride World Heavyweight Champ. Yep. He's raining down some heels there on the calves of Fyodor Emelianenko. There you see Hidehiko Yoshida yelling out instructions to TK. Yoshida, of course, preparing for his main event, which will happen in the first round of the Pride middleweight tourney against Vanderlei Sova. Rematch of their very exciting bout from the 2003 middleweight tournament. That really put Yoshida on the map, even though he lost to the Pride world middleweight champion. He's doing a good job now, TK, in protecting himself from the punches. He's blocking him and he's bobbing and weaving. Can you bob and weave on the ground like that? I guess so. Right? Hey, yeah. He's bobbing and weaving. I call it like that. Look at him. See, he's still left to the right. Responding. Yeah. Doing his best attempts at trying to evade the barrage of blows from Emelianenko. And for the people at home who think, oh, there's a lot of blood, let me explain you again, because I pretty much did this every show, so I might as well do it again. A little cut can cause a lot of blood. It doesn't mean it's something serious. It's a little cut, your heart rate is up all the way, and of course, it will pop out there. You're right about that, boss, and really, there is still that stigma attached to this great sport of ourselves here, and uh, really, you've mentioned it and put it perfectly. The blood, yes, but it's not 
as dangerous as it looks at this time because if it was, the fight would be stopped. Oh, yeah. You saw there, by the way, TK, in the middle of our little conversation we had, he was looking for an armbar, but he saw Fedor already pulling it out real fast, so he gave that up. They're going to probably clean it again. He's got a red card. Fedor's going to get a red card. Both are getting the red card. And that eye beginning to swell up, of course, the vision will become a problem, and uh, you definitely want to have... Perfect sight when you're facing the shots from Fyodor Emelianenko. And now the crowd here at the Yokama Arena begin to clap in unison, trying to rally TK. And you see the doctors, once they wipe the face, you see how bad it looked when he walked to the corner. Oh, yeah, and now no. you see there's nothing. Yeah, they're doing a good job of really uh, taking care of that uh, cut. And uh, you know he's a warrior, Siyoshi Kosaka. That is the epitome of a warrior right there. You saw Fyodor Emelianenko, undefeated in pride, 21-0-1, no contest in his career. And again, that one blemish coming at the hands of this man, TK, four years ago. Now, that thing blowing your nose while you have a black eye, guys, watch out with that because you can pump up so much blood in your eye that you can't see anymore. So when you got a fake eye, a black eye, do not blow your nose. Out in the open, okay, not in a napkin. Are you happy, oh. or are you surprised? Not happy, boss, but are you surprised that it's, uh, that TK has survived this uh, much with yes. the cut over his left eye and knowing, you know, who he's in there against? Yes, because, you know, this way he won't lose any face here with the Japanese fans. They're cheering for him. That's I mean. right, and uh, definitely, uh, he is the favorite here in his native Japan, but Emelianenko continues just to rain down those blows one after another. Taking the ground and pound to another level. Yep, and he needs to work because the ref apparently gave, uh, gave him a red card before, so that he, that means that man that he didn't, uh, he wasn't working enough. And of course, uh, so now he's going to turn it on. We got red cards endemic here to Bushido, where there is no quota. The referee will hand them out at his there discretion. We... Stacks up, and again he's going for that leg lock. Armbar leg lock combination, but. Fader is gone before he even can come close. And you know, Emelianenko knows all about the leg locks, a former Sambo champion as well. So if he is a, you know, an expert in Sambo, he knows how to escape those leg locks too, boss. Yep. And I hate it to say because I've been in the situation that DK is in right now. <laughs> One eye closed, uh, even worse, and the other eye, I lost my contact lens, but also that against, killed up uh, Kevin, Kevin Randall. UFC 20? Yep. And it's, uh, it's bad. You so how did, you, how did you survive that? Like, what did you do to, to protect your eye or to, to give you that uh, necessary energy to continue, boss? Because you're right, you may be able to speak firsthand of it, so yeah, shed it's, some light on this. It's, it's just very difficult because you lay on your back, and once, uh, also his nose is hit, so he's swallowing blood all the time while he's laying on his back. I got nausea from all the blood that I was swallowing. One eye filled up with blood, and the other, yeah, like I said, I lost my contact. I'm having eyes like minus five and a half, <laughs> that means I can't read if something two feet is away from me. And it, I'm talking about big letters. <laughs> Are you surprised that Fyodor Emelianenko is not being more aggressive right now, boss? Um, yes, actually I am. I think he really should go and try to finish this fight now. Because what we got, we got about three minutes, two minutes left into the fight. In the first round, I mean, of course. Yeah, we're down to about a minute and 50 seconds left here in yeah. round number one. But TK seems to survive this, and if he can hold it up for one and a half minute more, and he can clean him up a little bit in the corner, God knows what will happen round number two. You know, Fyodor Emelianenko scheduled to defend the Pride World Heavyweight Championship against Mirko Prokop later this year. But right now, in this non-title affair, he's definitely dominating the fight, but again, boss. Oh, there's TK again from the bottom with some strikes that do some damage, boss. And uh, again, the, the aggressiveness of the Pride World Heavyweight Champion right now, is it just because he's taking his time methodically trying to dismantle TK, or is there something else at work here? You know, that's a good question, because I just wanted to say, in the opening of the fight, I said that he gained some weight around his waist. Is he maybe not in such a super shape right now? That's why he's preserving his energy? I don't know why he's not going balls out. Into the final minute now of the opening round. Siyoshi Kosaka, Fyodor Emelianenko, 
the main event of Bushido 6, and uh, yes, maybe you definitely hit on something there, boss, because... Uh, oh, nice! The there. A left, it was that a jab, and he had it with a jab? <laughs> he knocked him out with a jab, and he's got a power shot. That guillotine, if that... Whoa! Look at TK, nice though, game. man, fighting with all he's worth, and you know, Bushido is the way of the warrior, and TK Kosaka definitely showcasing that samurai spirit in this battle against Emelianenko. Desperately trying to survive the last 25 seconds of round number one. Fader is non-stop annoying him, putting his hand or his forearm on his throat, you know, let him think about other things. Boss, we're into the final 10 seconds now, this first round. Is this a moral victory for TK, knowing that he survived the opening 10 minutes, having had the cut over the left eye against the Pride World Heavyweight Champ? Is that any sort of uh, motivation going into the second round? The one thing, for in my eyes, TK can't lose anymore. If he, even if he loses, that's not a loss for me because cool. he hang in there, he's a warrior, he showed the heart of a warrior, and we're opening the show here with the cherry blossoms, everything about the samurai, well, here you got it, right there. And you know they're going to work diligently to try to seal that cut, as have uh, Hidehiko Yoshida in his corner, of course, the doctors right on the spot working very hard now on Tsuyoshi Kosaka as we look at the action of that opening 10 minutes. Yep, I think it was, maybe not. I wanted to say that, yeah, I think it actually was. Whoa. Yeah. That's uh, a <laughs> typical Emelian Echo action right there, that's for sure. That's yeah, but a, li a little bit more than normal, yeah. so I do think that he yeah. had something that but, he wanted to straighten out. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, right? Yeah. No, no, there's no revenge, boss. Come on. Gee. <laughs> no. I want to see that stiff jab here, Pork. And he goes, whoa. That means that a jab like that from Fedor can hit. Well, <laughs> anything he throws, it's with power. For sure. Now, some super glue. That's what we need here in the corner. Lots of the super glue. You know, the last time we saw Fyodor Emelianenko in action was that Shockwave boss kicking off the new year by unifying the Pride World Heavyweight Championship and winning the 2004 Heavyweight Tournament. Speaking of tournaments, 16 of the best middleweights, including Hidehiko Yoshida, who you see there tending to TK. And it's over. And the bell goes. The uh, fight has been stopped. As Kosaka unable to answer the bell round two, Fyodor Emelianenko records the victory. And now all is well in Emelianenko land as he now gains revenge for the last four years ago and can now focus on defending the world championship against Mirko Krokop. So a doctor stoppage brings about the victory for Fyodor Emelianenko. And really, when you see TK there, I mean, there's, there's no such a thing as being courageous, boss, but you don't want to be stupid as well, and the, the doctors do the right thing here. That's why we have so many doctors here at ringside. They will make the decision for you. Or you can be tough as you want. No. We will decide. You are, you're going to talk, and you're going to speak in 10 years from now. That's you know, what they say here. Kosaka, I think, even in the lost bosses, earned the respect not only of the Pride World Heavyweight Champion, but the fans here at the Yokohama Arena, and hopefully the fans at home as well.